When I was diagnosed with chordoma back in 2006, the field was really in a primitive state. The fact that so little research was being done and that there really wasn't a path towards treatments meant that patients didn't really have a reason to hope. Chordoma is a type of bone cancer that can occur anywhere along the spine from the skull base all the way down to the tailbone. It affects about 2,500 people in the United States, people of all ages from infants all the way to the elderly. And the reality is it's a very tough disease to treat, very tough disease to deal with. It's not enough simply to study chordoma. Our goal is to find a cure, and to do that, we have to think about every step in the treatment development process, make sure that researchers have everything that they need to be able to be effective. The Chordoma Foundation is a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to improving the lives of chordoma patients, first by accelerating the development of new treatments for chordoma, and at the same time, helping patients get the best care possible with the treatments that are available today. Over the last six years now, we've really transformed the field of chordoma research. We've created the materials that researchers need, the tissue, the cell lines, the animal models. And we've learned a lot about the biology of the disease, and now we've actually identified a number of potential therapeutic targets that are being translated into therapies for chordoma patients. We make sure that when a discovery is made, it doesn't just sit there and diffuse through the literature, but really we proactively push it to other researchers who can build upon that and ultimately develop the treatments that we all hope for. With enough time and given the right resources, we will find a cure for Cordoma. I think the future is very bright. We've got a really energized field of Cordoma researchers now. I think we've created the conditions to make it possible for drug companies to develop therapies for Cordoma. The clock is ticking. Every single day that goes by without a treatment, people are dying of this disease. So we feel just a huge sense of urgency to try to do everything in our power to move as quickly as possible.